Okay, the best way to start a day is with a cold start. That's my new exhaust, it's pretty loud. Wakes up everybody. I like it. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Um, going for a little ride just to see some new areas. It's a really nice day for driving around, so I'm out in my FRS. And just gonna do a little talk about my Phantom Electric Supercharger, give a few more details, and also talk about what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna keep the Phantom Electric Supercharger? Am I going to upgrade to a regular supercharger or turbo system? And if I'm thinking about this, I'm getting closer to my decision. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to talk about today. Okay, I found a deserted area in which I could do a little talk about the Phantom Supercharger, which you can see right here. And hopefully I won't be interrupted. Uh, this is sort of a, a rural area and as you can see, let's pan around. Not much happening out here. We have just farmland, so there should be no disturbance. Oh, look at that. Except for a train. Hey Liam, you can uh, wave at the train, it might haunt. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you the basic parts of the Phantom Electric Supercharger. For example, as you've probably already seen in some of my previous videos, we have actually three, under this cover we have three batteries. We have an Odyssey uh, 626, I believe, battery that runs the car systems. And we have two small AGM batteries here uh, that are connected together in series to produce 24 volts and that goes down this cable right here all the way to the controller there's a heavy duty connector you can see that the cables are quite large so that there is no loss of power through the cables it goes straight to the controller now you can ignore this uh, NOS uh, label that's just a little bit of fun this controller controls the charging of the batteries and the discharging of the batteries uh, to the electric supercharger now there's also another line here, right, uh, right here. This goes through the firewall, right down there. That goes to a throttle switch. Okay, inside the car here. Now it's a little hard to see. Okay. But right there, mounted to this bolt, is a throttle switch. And listen when I push this little, listen when I push this pedal, which is of course the gas pedal. There was two clicks there. It's a very simple mechanical switch. Click one, click two. That means that it's a two-stage mechanical switch. And also, we have a voltage gauge. Now let me turn the car on just a little bit here and you can see what our voltage reading is right now. So as you can see, we have 28.2 volts. That shows that the, um, the electric supercharger almost is at full voltage. Actually full voltage is 28.6, but right now 28.2 and when you activate the supercharger, that will go down. Now the engine's not on, but I will activate the supercharger because it goes on regardless of whether the car's running or not. And you'll be able to hear it when I push down the accelerated pedal. And you saw the voltage power goes down. 
but then it goes right back up again and recharges. Okay, so you can see that there's a battery system, a controller, a throttle position switch, and a voltage gauge, and that all operates this. This is a brushless electric motor, which goes to the cold side of a regular turbo. So in other words, um, Phantom takes a regular turbo, unbolts the exhaust side of the turbo, machines a special plate, this is held on with a circlip, and then mounts on to the shaft a, uh, a brushless electric uh, motor. Now, let's have a little look, shall we? Now this shows you how simple the system is. It doesn't take very long to install it, and it takes a very short time to take it off. If you wanted to return this car to stock, it'd be very simple. Uh, as opposed to a um, regular turbo or supercharged system, which is, of course, uh, quite, the, quite an installation. Now, as you can see, the, this also uses the stock airbox, the stock uh, map sensor, and just has a coupling that comes onto here. Also, you get rid of all the, uh, the silencer box that's normally here, plus the uh, sound generator tube is also deleted with this installation. And you block off that with a block off cap. And so it's all very simple. It uses the stock system. Let's just undo this and just so I can show you a little bit closer what the, uh, the system actually really looks like. Okay, so that's loose. And it's only held in place, this uh, supercharger is held in place by just the rubber couplings, both here and here. There is no bracket that holds it in. It's not really that heavy, and this does the job. Okay, I'm taking this off. That's it. You can see there's your, your regular intake, and there's the sensor, which then goes to the cold side of this turbo, and there you go. There's the impeller right there, oops, connected to the electric motor. Now this is a real turbo, so it doesn't just blow the air, it compresses the air, very important. A supercharger does external, a supercharger with rotors uh, does external uh, compression of the air while a turbocharger does internal compression of the air. The point is is that it compresses the air, it grabs the air and compresses it inside this housing and then forces the air out through here. There's the outlet of the air which then goes simply into your throttle body. Nothing could be simpler. So I'm just going to put that back on. You know, just put this back on, you can see how simple the system really, really is. What am I gonna say? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, so uh, a lot of the comments in my comment section ask me, why don't I just get a real turbo system? Why don't I just get a, a real supercharger system? Why am I messing around with what a lot of people think of as a fake system? Well, first of all, it's not fake, but another thing is, is I want to try something different. I didn't want to do just the same thing as everybody else. Uh, this, you've got to admit, is really different. Um, also, it's cheaper, so there is a cost factor involved. This is $2,000 all in, and you can see how simple the installation was. A real turbo system is, well, I know you can buy it for around $2,000, but once you put in on all the extras and the labor of everything else, it's very expensive. So this is cheaper. Also, this provides a lot of torque at lower RPMs, and it's great for city driving. This was never meant for drag racing or for road courses. This is actually more for a daily driver just to give that little extra oof that this car really uh, needs. So that's why I gave this a try. Now, now this system was uh, is actually made in Canada. It's made by Rob. He's an engineer living in Calgary. Uh, he's an aeronautical engineer who works for Pratt & Whitney. And he designed this and produced this sort of as just one of his personal uh, hobby projects. That's why there's limited production of these units and there's actually a waiting list. I had to wait six months before I got this, this, uh, this kit 
and now they say the waiting list is around two years so this really isn't something that you can just go out and buy unfortunately now if someone's selling a, a used phantom i would jump at it because first of all there's very little wear on these devices they're very simple and so even buying a used one should work out good for for anybody who wants to get one and i think of course i did mention this was designed by a guy named robin calgary calgary's in canada this is a canadian invention canadian okay so actually i went out last night and did a few pulls just to show that this supercharger does make boost i recorded it on my torque aft and i got up to 4.9 psi so that proves that this produces boost it works yes it does it works it does it really really works it does work it works stop saying it doesn't work because it works it works it works okay so on the dyno the stock frs produces about 167 horsepower and about 140 pounds foot pounds of torque the electric supercharger with uh, 5 psi of boost tapering down to 2 psi at redline uh, gives a extra torque of about 35 foot pounds and extra horsepower of about 35 horsepower so on a dyno this car has made 198 horsepower so say 200 horsepower with about 180 foot pounds of torque now those are not gigantic gains it's not going to turn your FRS into a fire breathing monster but you can see that's a significant gain makes a big difference and especially when you just want to take off from a light low down torque is just fantastic compared to stock that's why this is such a great system you can sort of think of this as sort of a, a nitrous oxide injection system without all the, the difficulties and expense of that system uh, there's no bottles to refill this thing is always ready to work for example to show how you get torque at the low end at around 2200 rpm you can get up to 150 foot pounds of torque with the phantom electric supercharger that's hard to do even with a regular supercharger or turbo system so this electronic control module can handle up to a 5000 watt discharge and a 300 watt uh, charging on this system which is pretty impressive this motor this electric motor can turn the impeller inside the cold side of the turbo over 50,000 50, RPM and that is why it's able to produce up to 5 PSI of boost. This system produces up to 60 seconds and in my experience even more than that of usable boost which on street driving is more than usable uh, not so usable if you're going to go on a racetrack but pretty good for street driving that's for sure now the system is non parasitic in nature in other words has no belt doesn't use exhaust but there's no such thing as free energy basically what you're doing is that uh, the alternator is working to recharge these batteries when you're not using the electric supercharger and that is when you are uh, actually using power from the motor to recharge the batteries and the batteries discharge all the power very quickly and that's what produces boost so it's not really free energy but it's just sort of uh, banking the energy to be used at a later point so in conclusion I, I just really love this system I've had it on the car for over a year there's been no maintenance issues I've had no problems whatsoever uh, the only reason why I'm thinking of selling is because I do want to have more power. I want to take the next level up to get into a real uh, regular supercharger system, perhaps a turbo, but I'm thinking supercharger. And so perhaps this year at some point, I might be replacing my Phantom electric supercharger with a regular supercharger. But if you watch one of my earlier videos, you saw that I was talking about the fact that there might be a new player on the block, there might be a new supercharger kit being uh, designed as we speak. Anyway, I cannot tell too much about this because I've been sworn to secrecy, uh, because it's still under development, but this will be a fantastic kit. It's being developed by a very reputable tuner, and I might get one of the first kits available. This might come out around fall 
of 2017. So until then, I'm keeping my electric supercharger. Uh, my plans are that I might put it on a dyno to actually show in my personal case uh, how much horsepower it's making. Uh, and also I might get it uh, tuned so that I can actually get even more horsepower out of it because right now I'm on the can tune and uh, I think I can do even better. So thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. Please like and subscribe and there'll be more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.